Oyasumi minasama. I am in for the night. It's 11 o'clock. I just returned from Ueno slash Akihabara. I began in Ueno and ended up walking to Akihabara, which is a pretty far distance. It's 20 to 30 minutes walk, but I didn't really have anything or any place I needed to be tonight, and I didn't really mind, so I did. While I was there, I got the new there we go. Kirin Nuda. New Sparkling. And here's what it says. I'll read it in two different ways because I'm not really sure how it's supposed to be read. I'm pretty sure I know what it is actually, but um, for purposes in this, I will pretend that I don't. Kirin Nuda for grown ups that can be enjoyed anytime, anywhere. Kirin Nuda for grown ups that can be enjoyed anytime, anywhere. Notice the subtle difference between the two. The first one says that the drink can be enjoyed anytime, anywhere, while the second suggests that it's only for grown-ups that can be enjoyed anytime, anywhere. So it's either a diverse drink, no, uh, what is the word? A versatile drink, or it's only for very fun people. And I would show you, but I think the print's too small, but there are no commas or anything, so it's up to you how you read it, I suppose. Ah, sparkling water. It's not too bad, but I, I'm not a, a big fan of sparkling things. Well, sparkling drinks, anyway. It's, uh, as a lot of people know, it's the carbonation that gets me. But I, I thought I'd buy it just to see. I also bought a Coke, and I've been shaking it since I got it. And so now it's just about as flat as Kansas, which uh, Brother Victor informs me is flatter than a pancake. So that makes me happy. Oh, excuse me, these drinks always make me burp. The thing is, I'm still clothed, so I don't think it works. I assume that when you drank it, you became naked or nuda, but obviously you don't. Well, my pants are off, but that's because it's hot. Now for the Japan clip of the day, I suppose you could call it. I found this really cool park. It was over by Tokyo Tower. And there's this toy that the little kids can use. And I wish we had them in our parks, and it's just really cool. And I apologize beforehand for how shaky the video is. Um, I just have to say that for somebody. Okay, here it is. I've just been walking around and I found a park and that is like the coolest toy ever for a park. That would be so much fun. That is just too cool. Yeah, it's like a mountain glider in the middle of a park and these kids just go on it. I'd love to go on it but I'm afraid that I would break it and plus um, the kids their feet are probably about like five inches above the ground so I would just be dragging the whole way unless I was actually at the top of the rope and I don't think that would work so well. One final note for tonight, I was asked about um, barbers, if there are any barbers in Japan recently and that's a good question. I'd like to talk a little bit about that. Um, as most of you should know, uh, they, we have a new prime minister, or we, the Japanese have a new prime minister, um, Shinzo Abe, and uh, he made a few changes after Koizumi. Um, under Koizumi, barbers were legal and uh, you saw them all over the place and people always went to them and it was great. And for some reason, as soon as Shinzo Abe uh, took office, he just had this thing against barbers and he uh, slowly, well not too slowly because he hasn't been in office too long, but he uh, banned them. And so you really don't see any barbers anymore. Uh, what happened is uh, they went through and by military force, so they don't really have a military, so by like a, a police force, I guess, I don't know, the people in the blue suits, went and forced all the barbers out of their shops and closed them down. And most of the shops are now either 100 yen shops or the uh, curry shops, which I'm just fine with. But the barbers now act illegally and they've got this whole like underground city system type thing um, I don't know if it's not really underground like 
the subways and all the underground towns are. But um, they work, it's kind of like prohibition type of thing. There's bootlegging barbers. And I just really don't want to deal with that because uh, with my visa and the way foreigners are viewed anyway, if I were caught going to a barber, I could get kicked out of the country. And obviously, people would know if I went to a barber. Uh, it wouldn't be a big question or anything. They would just kind of look at me, look at my pictures, and say, ah, he's been to a barber. I'm not really sure how to say that in Japanese yet. But it'd be like, ah, kore wa baba ikimashita yo. That's not really right at all. So, um, yeah, there are no more barbers in Japan. No more legal ones. Oh, excuse me. Maybe you've got to finish the bottle. But it, it does taste good. It's just I, I would do without the juice. On that note, I think I'll say goodnight. <laughs>